Desiree Shaw, registered certified licensed psychotherapist, CBT therapist, and counselor. On a mission to make therapy accessible and change the world one thought at a time. Don't miss out. Subscribe, like, and share for more on men's mental health and relationships. Hello and welcome. My name is Desiree Shaw and I'm a psychotherapist and I vlog and I podcast. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. So how do you start your day? How you start your day is super important to how you proceed in the day. It's the very base of the day, the morning. How many times I've met somebody in my clinic or even outside clinic, I meet my socialites and people tell me that they're not a morning person. They absolutely hate the mornings. They dread the mornings. And they sometimes wake up with this heavy feeling of anxiety and dread that something bad is going to happen. I remember when I used to live in that place, used to wake up, used to really dread Mondays. Sunday night would come and I would find it really difficult to sleep because I'd be worrying about the week ahead. You know, you can be worrying about Thursday on on Sunday afternoon. It, it constantly wishing our lives away, you know, forcing ourselves into the future and feeling all kinds of discomfort and awfulizing at every second that we can possibly, you know, any every second, every term, constantly, you know, worrying. The way you start your day is important to how you proceed throughout that day. It's important to how you think and it's important to how you behave because your thoughts are what really trigger you into your behavioural consequences. Your emotions are what let you, they let you know how you're feeling and what you're thinking. Your emotions let you know what you're actually thinking. You wake up with anxiety, that feeling of dread, you're actually thinking thoughts that, you know, support that emotion. When you wake up in the morning, it's the most important time. You know, if you wake up in the morning, you want to really provide yourself with enough support, enough energy to enable you to proceed productively. That's how important your mornings are super important. I wrote a very brief guide, which is free on my website, and it's um, it's called the guide to um, waking up in the morning. Very simple. A guide to waking up better. It goes through a structure of ways and tips to support yourself to embrace the day because if you don't embrace the day and you're constantly pushing the day away because you wake up and you just feel that horrible dread which is easy to feel I, I live in the UK and when it gets dark when we have to go the clocks go back the morning happens and it's still dark and you've got to turn on the light to go and use the bathroom and it's got that feeling of that discomfort and there's cold and everything's dark and particularly if it's raining and it's grey it's easy to go with that and it's easy to feel that now your mind is the most powerful thing you know it's it's so powerful the most powerful thing you own really that's you your mind is what triggers you to move and do things it, it helps you get through things. It supports you to deal with things. Now, if your mind is, you know, stricken with negative automatic thoughts and your body is feeling the physical symptoms of that and you find it so difficult to proceed because you are stuck in these negative automatic thoughts, you're probably going to have a really, really gruesome day. You know, some of us start Monday and we hate every single day until Wednesday evening where we start to feel a little bit better because it's Thursday and then it's going to be Friday and then it's going to be the weekend as if you don't work on the weekend. But that's a lot of time to wish away. One of the things we have as human beings is time and time is inevitable. It is going to pass. So when you push yourself into the future fearing what is happening now you rob yourself you actually rob yourself of the importance of recognizing what is now you take away the your very own power of how you can respond to today in order for you to build the foundation for tomorrow today is really important waking up with a mindset of growth and enhancement supports you to flourish I talk a lot about um, frequency and your mindset and I will 
put that video in on it will come up somewhere which explains your frequency explains how you decide to tune into something because it's all about what you are deciding to do we're heavily influenced around us by people by social media by all sorts of things which can help us to feel worse about ourselves but we can actually turn that around because we are the powerful ones because we're the ones with our own mind and we have the right to choose freedom of choice this is what it's all about it's all about the fact that you get to choose you get to choose what you think you get to choose how you feel you get to choose what you do the power is all within you but often when we've been influenced by others we don't recognize that we actually have that power so to support you moving forward i would say have a look at my um, my guide on my website which, which will be in the description box below how to wake up better i think it's called how to wake up better <laughs> i will put the link in there and it will support you in finding ways to get your morning in a nice supportive roll forward so that you can establish control over your day and the day doesn't grab you and suck you down based on what you're thinking thank you so much for watching my name is Desiree Shaw and I'm a psychotherapist and I vlog and I podcast I hope you have subscribed to this channel I hope you enjoy the videos thank you for watching bye for now don't miss out subscribe like and share for more on men's mental health and relationships.